Now we will um, discuss performance evaluation nila. Okay, questions before we start? Related sa previous na topic? Wala? Okay. Performance evaluation of classification and regression models. So how do we measure, so we ask the question, how do we measure the accuracy of our models? Or how do we measure their error rate? So thankfully, there are several metrics that can be used depending on the type of model you created. We will discuss them shortly in the, in the slides that will follow. For regression analysis, so a regression model can be visualized as follows. So the blue dots, Kanisha, these represent the actual values of your data set meaning ang correct na values, okay? The correct values of your data. The green line, kanisha, green na line, represents the regression line, which contains the predicted value of your regression na model. The dashed red line between the actual and predicted values are what, are what we call as the residual, okay? Ang residual, mo na siya ang distance between the actual and the predicted na um, variables, I uh, values, I mean, or some call it as the error, error nga value niya. Ha? So if small ang residual, ang pasabot ana, ang regression model na to kay um, sort of more accurate siya or more fit. Okay, so do you kagets from mo ani sa visualization? Uh, for a while. Nasa kayo open. Tamay na. Slow. Okay. Sige. Um, mo ni siya katong activity nga kung gihatag sa si inyo, ha? Mora, nga ni siya. So, so, kaning pink na line, ay, kaning pink na dots, mo ni sila kibali ang actual, okay? Mo ni siya actual. Uh, same, same sila aning blue. Blue and pink are equal, okay? So, mo ni siya actual nga values na to when we are um, doing performance evaluation, okay, then kaning purple na line or purple na dots mo na siya ang predicted na tong values, okay? So, there is a PowerPoint that represents siya as kaning green na line. Ang distance na yun between the actual and predicted na values is, is what we call as the residual, okay? Meaning, ang morag ang yung error the value. Next. So, first, ang pinaka-common nga um, metric is what we call as the mean absolute error or MAE. So, it's very easy. So, ang mean absolute error measure, measures the average, average residuals of the data. It is given by the following formula. So, you just um, you just add, okay, you just add the residuals and divide it by the number of your testing data. Ngayon lang. So, it's so easy. Um, so, let's try to calculate. Can I? I have here um, a data, data set na ko. So, we have the predicted and actual values here and then we calculate the residual. So, ang residual na to, we just subtract 2 minus 10. It is negative uh, 8, di ba? Negative 8 siya. Pero, atong kwaon ng absolute value niya, ha? Which is positive 8. So, next, unsa may distance or unsa may residual sa 10 and 1 is 9. Unsa may residual sa 9 and 6, 3. 7 and 5, 2. 3 and 2, 6. Okay. 5 and 4, 
sa distance nila, it's 1. 8 and 7, it is also 1. 4 and 3, it is 1. 6 and 9, 3. 1 and 8, it is 7. So, uh, ang LE din niya, or I mean absolute error, so we just add those values, we just add the residuals, and divide it by 10. Because we have 10 data points. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Which is, ang result din nato is 4.1. Meaning, ang average, ang average nga error or ang average nga residual is 4.1. Questions? Giyo sa nato pag arrive ani? Sir, kanang value sa predicted sa actual given na siya, sir, nga ng mga numbers? Um, dili. Kuan siya? Um, so, nakay data set ni mo, di ba? Like, let's just say, for example, your data set is 100 rows. Uh, okay, so you have 100 rows of data set. So, kalang 100 rows ni mo, is split na ni mo. You have your 70% your training. 70 ana kay training. Okay. And then you have 30% for testing. Okay. So, kanang training, as the name implies, mo na siya imong gamiton para mag-build. Okay? It is used to build your model. So, for the linear regression na to, mo na siya ang gamiton ni mo para maka-create ka itong formula for linear regression. Okay? Kung decision tree, mo na siya ang gamiton na to for pag-build sa katong decision tree. Kanina yung 30% na to for testing, ato na siyang murag ibahog ato siyang ibahog dito sa itong model, okay? After na ito, ibahog dito, mag-result din na siya sa predicted nga value. Gets, ra? Sir, so, again, yes? di ba, sir, predicted minus actual, sir, yung mugi, ano, sir, di ba, para na, 2 minus 10, 10 minus 1, 9 minus 6, yun na, para makuha yeah. ang residua. Yep. Kanina lagi, 3 minus 2, sir, na 6, lagi siya, sir. Asa, diri? Ika 5, masiguro, ay, ko, oh. ika 5, sir, no, predicted, no. Okay, so dapat 1 ni siya. Pero ito, dapat 1 po ni. Sorry. Okay. So, uh, so, delete na rin siya 4.1. So, delete na rin siya 4.1. So, ang result ay nakay. So, ito yung calculate again. Uh, 8 plus 9 plus 3 plus 2. Plus one. So, pila man. Tri ter 36. So, 36 divided by 10. Sure. So, we have 3.6, diba? So, kanin siya 3.6 din. Sorry. Okay. 3.6. Thanks for pointing it out. Um. Yeah. Anyway, balik ko dito sa akong gayong kaganina. So, gisplit ni mong imong data set. You have 70 for training and 30 for testing. ba? So, katong testing ni mo, mo to siya imong gamiton, imo siyang ibahog sa na-create nga, nga model ni mo when you, you were training. Then, you also use it for your performance evaluation. Okay? Gets ra, guys? So, mo din na siya, you have your predicted and actual values. Ang actual values is mahibawaan na na ni mo based on the dere makita na ni mo dere sa imong testing data set ang actual values ang predicted ang predicted ni mo kay mo na siya ang result after ni mo siya gibahog sa model ni mo okay other questions wala na okay next Okay, so we have mean squared error. So mean squared error measures the variance of the residuals of the data. So it is given by the following formula. So the update um, is more the like same formula. Instead of absolute error, I absolute error. Instead of absolute value, ato lang siyang square. Okay. So ang residual variance, it is it measures the spread of your 
um, of your values, kibale, or it is it measures the spread of your residuals in this case. So, um, yeah. So, atong for example, ang data below nato contains the predicted reactor values. The residual has also been calculated as well as a residual scale, residual squared. So, it's my result ani. Uh, okay, so this is one, dapat, diba? One, three minus two, one. Ang um, square din niya kay one pod. So actually, ma update ni atong um, answer. Ako sa Sixty four plus one point Okay, so a result and is fourteen point eighty three. Fourteen point um, eighty three something. Okay, taas pa na siya. So mo na siya mean squared error. Questions? Yung sa nang residual ng pinakalas po come up sir. Ah, gis times to okay. Thank you sir, man. Gis square siya, gis square. Yeah. Okay, okay, sir. Okay, kung mabalik ka sa atong equation, mo ni siya, ato siyang g-square, di ba? Mar na siya. Next, root mean squared error or RMSE. So, ang root mean squared error measures the standard deviation. So, kung kagani na variance, karon standard deviation na siya of the residuals of the data. So, uh, ang root mean squared error, g-square, Gisquero trani ni mo ang 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 MSE. So, di ba? Same rasag formula sa MSE kani. Same rasag formula. Ang gitugang lang nato kay kani square root. So one one ah. Uh, Wait, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Namalik ko. Sorry. Previous slide sa ta. Kuan din siya? 22. This is 22. Okay, so this is 22. Kaya gi add na to and then divide it by 10. Apologies. So, balik ta dere. So, ang result ani is 22, di ba? So, ang square root dahil sa 22 kay... four point sixty nine, 4.69. Something. Yeah. So, more na siya. RMSE. Root mean squared error. Questions about this one? Questions? Diba? Easy ra? Construct lang mong table and then makalkulit na na inyo siya diritso. Next. Uh, no questions about this before we proceed with other classification ng metrics? Wala na? Okay. Sige. Uh, so, perhaps, okay, for classification metrics, ang pinaka-common ng met metric for classification is the confusion matrix. So the confusion matrix Motosha, is probably the simplest classification performance evaluation metric. Although its terminologies can sometimes be confusing, it's still fairly simple. So suppose you have a binary classifier with the following resulting data. So you have your predicted and actual values gapon. So Sa itong binary classification, we only have rainy and sunny na classes, okay? So, how do we construct the confusion matrix from this? So, first, let's create a blank confusion matrix. So, take a look below. This is how a blank confusion matrix should look like. 
on the left side, Kanisha, you have your predicted. Okay, you have your predicted values. And then sa right side, I mean top na side, you have your actual values. Okay? So, gibotang lang din ako. Rainy and sunny dere And then rainy and sunny. Okay? Uh, sige, next. Oh, na na answer. Let's try to fill out or let's try to fill up the um kaning confusion matrix na to. So let's just assume nga blanco siya. So how let's ask the question. How many were predicted to be rain? So pila ka bok daw no ang nag-ulan? Pila ka bok ang rain nga ato na predict? And out of those nga gi-predict na to nga rain, pila man ang actual nga rain gets niyo so um okay let's I, let's try highlighter so ang predicted na tong rain is this one diba rain 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 and diba okay out of those rains nga tong gi highlight pila ka buok ang tinuod nga rain so we can see here, ang actual nga rain is 1 and 2. Diba? So, ang answer na to is 2. Okay? Wala na to gi-calculate ni Uban kay Sunny man sila. Rain, Sunny. Rain, Sunny. Rain, Sunny. So wala na sila appeal. So that's why we write rain, rain here, 2. So next, how many were predicted to be rain? Um... How many were predicted to be rain? Okay. Out of those, how many were actually sunny? So, kita na to. Ang rain, ang predicted, pero sa tinood di ay kay sunny siya. So, meaning na mali siya ang predict, di ba? Okay. So, we have three. Okay. So, we have three, di ba? Okay, next. How many were predicted to be sunny? Where are one? Okay, sorry. Okay, so next. How many were predicted to be sunny? Let's write purple this time. Pilang sunny. Uh, okay, muna siyang sunny. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so 5 ka book sunny. And out, of, and out of those sunny, how many ang rain? Sige daw, kamo daw. Pila ka book ang rain out of this sunny? Anybody wants to answer? Sige, volunteer, volunteer. Pila man actual rain? Of course, sir. Four. Oh, no, no, no. Hindi ko answer dire. Okay, correct. Four. So, we have here. Sunny rain, sunny rain. Sunny rain. Hindi ha po na mo sa... Very good. Okay, so we have four. So, muna siya. Sunny rain. Atong ibotang dire. So, pila. Okay, next. How many were predicted to be sunny? But, okay, predicted sunny, pero actually kay sunny po siya. So, we have... Sa siya dang color. And in black. Na yung color. Dark blue na lang. So we have one. Okay, so ugly. Pink, sir. Pili ba pink? Lamin oh, ganun. Yeah, favorite. Ano <laughs> niya? Okay. Sige, so we only have one, di ba? Okay, muna siya itong ibotang one, diri. Parang siyang circulas. Okay, ma-erase siya. Di siyang flowers. So, ingat na lang siya pag construct sa confusion matrix. It's so easy. Diba? Ihap-ihap lang na. Okay. But, okay, next. Mungkutan na ta. What do these values mean in the confusion matrix? Ang sa may pasabotan ni nila? Ang sa na to sila pag-interpret. So, so easy. So, ma we can, pilihan to sila, ma-represent as this. We have TP, FP, FN, and PN. So, can it TP through positive? FP is false positive, FN is false negative, and TN is true negative. 
Ang basa ba sa true positive? How many were reported positive and is correct? False positive. Excuse me. How many? How many were predicted positive? But is incorrect. False negative. How many were predicted negative and is incorrect? True negative. How many were predicted negative and is it and is correct? Okay. If libog siya, we can do an analogy for this. Uh, Sir, balik sa ganito sa... Analogy with pregnancy. Ano oh, saman? Dere? 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 Ito pag isa sa katang rin sa sunny. So, di ba, sir, sa predicted, sir, kay sunny rain and then sa actual rain sunny. So, dili siya pwede mabali, sir, like, predicted sunny rain. Sorry, naputol-putol. Like, kanay, imo ibali? Magbutang ka actual dere niya, dere kay predicted? Sir, and then, if sunny rain, gihap, sir. Ato bang mga true negative, false negative, mga lahi, baya value idea to? Sorry, sorry. Ito siya again daw. <laughs> Di ba sir, sa predicted kay Sunny Rain? Oo, oh, oh, okay. Yep. Sa actual po kay Sunny Rain, gihapon siya. Dili siya pwede or kailangan mabay na po siya rin. Sunny na gihapon. Um, like ang order? Ano eh? Imo pa sabot? Oh, yes sir, ang order. Oh, yes order? sir. Um, uh, uh, sa akong nakita uh, sa uban ng mga libro or resources kay, usually ilang ginawap. Actually, so kung imong iswap, so ma-update po ni siya. Okay, ma-update po na siya, ma-swap-swap po na. Okay, so pwede rin na nyo siya iswap, pero, pero pwede... ma-swap po ni siya ang mga values ani. Pwede rin siya iswap. Yeah, pwede. Or mas, pwede siya nga as is. Uh, mas better, Zero, one, one. Mas better nga as is para mas sayon siya masabtan. So, for example, okay, Kani, for example, kani, nagtapad ang rain, di ba? Nagtapad sila. So, mas maayo po yung nagtapad so, ng rain. Kung gusto na yung maiswap na mag-sunny rain siya, so, pwede rin po na, pero as long as sunny di rin, and then sunny di rin, yung direct kay rain, rain. Pwede rin. Mas, mas easy siya nga masabutan. Okay? And then, kani, nag-positive, negative man po ko di rin, di ba? So actually, ikaw rin yapon magbuot kung sa'yo mo gusto nga positive or negative. So, let's just say, gusto ka nga ang rain kay rain represents positive. So, you can do that. Uh, kung gusto ka nga ang sunny kay represents positive, so you can also do that. It depends on you. Okay? Follow? Gets ra? Alright. Uh, sige. So, analogy sa confusion matrix uh, and pregnancy. So, I got this from towardsdatascience.com. So, we have here predicted and actual values. Kung, so, kung true positive, pasabot ana, kakita mo babae, di ba? Pregnant siya. So, kung if nakapredict nga pregnant ang babae, so that's true positive, meaning tinood or correct ang atong prediction na positive siya. Ang false positive kay sa yung makita ang lalaki gigna siya nga pregnant pero sa tinood ay dili siya pregnant so that's what we call as false positive or sa, sa inyong miracle sa inyong statistics we also call that as type 1 error um, as for false negative you can see here niingon ang doktor na dili pregnant ang babae however sa tinood kay pregnant gid ang babae Diba? So that's what we call as false negative or type 2 error. Um, as for true negative, um, correct nga po ng prediction nga negative ang class sa patient. Which is in this case, you're not pregnant. Um, makita mo sa nato nga dili pregnant ang kaning, uh, kaning tao. Diba? So it is true negative, dili siya pregnant. Uh, questions about this? Wala. Okay. So let's proceed. So we have other useful equations that use TP, FP, FN, and PN. So ang recall, okay, so we, have, we first have recall. So recall is just um, the TP. TP divided by TP plus FN. Okay. TP divided by TP plus FN. 
So, ang pasabot aning recall kay pila ka book ang uh, out of the positive nga classes ni mo, pila ka book ang na-correct, uh, correctly nga na-predict. So, yun na siya. Then, we have precision. Precision is TP divided by TP plus FP. So, ang pasabot ani out of the predicted ni mo nga positive, pila ang tinuod. Okay? Out of the predicted nga positive, pila ang tinuod nga positive at to. Recall is just the number of, okay, it is just the kadang um, merag total nga accuracy, I guess. You can call it like that. Like, gi-count lang din mo ang tinuod nga predictions or correct nga predictions, I mean. Gi-calculate lang din mo ang correct predictions. So, you just add TP and TN divided by tanan-tanan nga uh, rows of data ni mo. Ano na siya? And then we also have F measure, which is just two times recall times precision divided by recall plus preci precision. Oh. Okay. So F measure again, two times recall plus times precision divided by recall plus precision. So this is helpful uh, if you want nga uh, more i combine nimo ang metric nga recall and precision. Okay. Para mas easier siya nga ma interpret nimo. Because there are times nga taas ang recall. You have high recall but you have low precision. Na po times nga low ang recall but high ang precision. So in that case, you use F measure. So that morag ma-normalize ni mo ang yang value. Uh, and then it's easier for you to compare uh, or to evaluate your model in that case. Okay, questions about this? Nothing, wala. Okay, so mo ni siya uh, pwede ninyong mabasa as resources.